The whole purpose of this comment is to highlight or confirm the Revelation 12 sign in 2023. It's like God, who has been sitting on his throne forever, gets off, off of his throne through Jesus Christ, comes down to the earth, and gathers up his saints, the body of Christ, and takes them back up to his throne, and then sits back down on his throne. And he sits on his throne forever. This is why this asteroid never moves out of his place ever again. Very interesting. Here we come. Here we come. Coming up on 3,000. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm 30. Wing past it. Wait, nothing. Yeah, nothing. No, no it, right. just, it just sits there forever. So its only movement uh, is, is this year, this remember. fall. That's right. The whole purpose of this comment is to highlight or confirm the Revelation 12 sign in 2023. Now, if you're still confused about all this, don't worry. Check this out right here. I made an animation. You can easily follow it. Off to the left. You have the Revelation 12 sign, and in the upper right, you see the Nishimura Exalted Man-Child Comet. Since its inception, all it's been doing is staying in a retrograde motion right where it's at, kind of going around in a circle. You really can't notice it moving from our perspective. And it just stays there, not doing anything for thousands of years. And then in 2023, this is what happens. It begins to loop around in February 2023. It shoots right through Leo and enters the Revelation 12 sign right at September 2021st, give or take, because we're looking at the Hebrew day starting in the evening. And then it's in the stomach of Virgo on the 21st, 22nd. And then it exits the Virgin on the 22nd, 23rd of September. There's that number 23 again, September 23rd. There's a lot about that date that I can't get into right now. You might want to comment. And then after it exits the woman, where does it go? Out into the middle of nowhere where it stays forever. So the only sole purpose of the Mishimuru Comet, the Exalted Manchild Comet, is to mark the Revelation 12 sign in the heavens at the Feast of Trumpets 2023. It's like God built the billboard and then he shined a huge light on it to make sure that we didn't miss it. Or in this case, he threw a bright rock at it so that way we would focus our attention on it. Folks, what are the chances of the rapture resurrection happening next month and the beginning of the seven year tribulation? First, we have the biggest Revelation 12 sign we have ever seen before and that we will never see again right here where the Virgin is covered with all of these asteroids by their names and comets by their names that lays out the entire story of Daniel's 70th week, the time of Jacob's trouble. It's like it's an open book right there in front of us covering the Virgin. And then you have a comet that's been pretty much sitting in a retrograde motion since its inception. And the only time it ever moves in its entire existence is in 2023 it finally starts moving out of its retrograde motion and it flies through the revelation 12 sign it pings the revelation 12 sign the sign of the rapture the sign of the beginning of the seven year tribulation and it happens right at the feast of trumpets really what are the chances come on folks it doesn't get more obvious than that. Evidently, God is trying to warn us about something here.